Hello everyone and welcome to my General Hospital official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Sunny steps into a pikeman trap directly. The pikeman shipment is likely to be destroyed, according to GH spoilers for May 1, 2023. General Hospital spoilers reveal risky encounters, a foolish action, danger in the snow, and much more. You won't want to miss a single second of this thrilling episode. The pikeman shipment can be destroyed since Sunny, Morris Bernard, was able to reach a wedding, divert the federal agents from Drews, Cameron Matheson, trail, and reach the warehouse. He is calm and certain as he negotiates this agreement without being aware that Dex, Evan Hofer, has a camera concealed as per Michael's, Chad Duell. Instructions. Michael and Willow, Caitlin McMullen, talk about Sonny's assistance in having Carly, Laura Wright, freed and convincing the SEC that Drew is in Hawaii back at the Quartermain residence. The fact that Willow suggests that his father might not be all evil after all should be significant. Will Michael attempt to cancel Dex if he feels bad enough about what is about to happen? Nina tries to minimize the harm. Michael will soon see that his attempt to have Sonny in prison was wrong. But Nana, Cynthia Watrose, already understands that her attempt to have Carly imprisoned was mistaken. Nana ultimately saw that telling the SEC about Carly and Drew's insider trading scandal would backfire after Ava, Mora West, made several crucial and obvious points to her. She meets with Martin to try to solve the situation, but she learns it's too late. She probably ought to have asked Sunny how Willow's wedding on her deathbed went. Victor's schemes might fail. Even if Victor, Charles Shaughnessy, believes it is only so she can get through, Liesel, Kathleen Gaddy, is still trying her best to make him feel that she is truly on his side and carrying out his instructions. She is not going to let Victor win, though, and he starts to suspect that she is up to something. When Liesel asserts herself, what will he do? Victor's thugs are suspicious when they hear a phone ringing and discover a gun elsewhere on this weird frozen island. Laura warns her pals that if they don't give Victor exactly what he wants, they could get into trouble. Holly, Emma Sums, Anna, Finola Hughes, and Robert, Tristan Rogers, are investigating the situation back in Port Charles. Holly takes extreme measures to ensure that the appropriate people reach Victor before it's too late. While Anna is ready to leave that hospital bed and join the action, it's a shame that Scott, Ken Schreiner, would get in the way and cause Anna to reprimand Liesel's boyfriend. General Hospital, GH. Spoilers for Friday. April 28 show that Willow Corinto's, Catlin McMullen, was concerned about Carly Spencer, Laura Wright, since she had been taken in for questioning regarding insider trading. Ander Maddox returns to help Anna. Sonny's wild goose chase for SEC. Although Sonny Corinto's, Maurice Bernard, had spoken to Diane Miller, Carolyn Hennessy. Willow was concerned that Michael Corinto's, Chad Duell, might also be charged. The SEC was now operating under the presumption that Michael Corinto's, Chad Duell, had not been informed of the situation. In the end, Sonny went to the PCPD to see if he could be of any assistance. Ned Quartermain, Wally Kurth, who appeared next on Friday's GH episode, expressed his regret that this was taking place, particularly on Michael and Willow's wedding day. Ned was accused of carrying out the threat he made last fall when Michael retaliated over his receiving what he wanted. Ned claimed that Michael didn't know him at all if he believed he would put Carly in jail for insider trading while Willow was dying. Michael believed he really didn't know Ned and insisted he was guilty. After Michael complained about Ned's desire for power, he recalled a time when Ned had sold his own daughter. After stopping the argument, Brooklyn Quartermain, Amanda Seton, followed Ned and appeared wary of him. When Brooke Lynn pretended that Ned would typically act in this manner, she stormed off. Jordan Ashford, Tanisha Harper, was unable to get Curtis Ashford, Donald Turner, to answer his phone at the PCPD. Concerned, 
the commissioner found out Laura Collins, Ginny Francis, was taking time off for personal reasons. Jordan obviously had more important things to do than chat to Jocelyn Jacks, Eden McCoy, about Carly, so Jordan the left the room from to the go SEC to the SEC stated in the interrogation room that they had cause to believe Carly and Drew Kane, Cameron Matheson, conspired to increase Aurora Media's stock price, and it might land them both in jail. A photo of Carly hugging Drew was offered as proof of their relationship, but Diane countered that they were just family members offering support to one another as Willow battled illness. Carly refused to provide any information, despite the SEC agent's repeated requests for her assistance and assurances that doing so would be beneficial for her. Carly found that Drew had allegedly chartered a flight from San Diego to Maui after Sunny asked for a favor, and she was told she could leave for the time being even though charges might still be pending. Carly understood that Sunny had planned for the SEC to embark on a fruitless search, giving Drew the opportunity to continue looking for Liesl Obrecht, Kathleen Gaddy, and the others. Carly heard through Diane that her accounts had been locked along with Aurora Media's after telling Michael over the phone about Sunny's good deed. Willow remarked that Sunny had also stepped up for Michael after Michael had mentioned how he had helped Carly and Drew. Before the Pikeman meeting, Brick, Stephen A. Smith, who had returned early from vacation, was at the warehouse and almost caught Dex Heller, Evan Hofer, in the act. Thankfully, Dex was able to tuck the gadget away in his hand. It turned out to be a tiny camera, so Dex quickly set it up later by himself. Fans saw that it was being recorded, so Dex might use that information to capture Sonny at this meeting. Sonny arrived after the meeting had begun and was eager to get things going. At GH, Scott Baldwin, Ken Schreiner, and Portia Robinson, Tabiana Ali, shared their sorrow about the safety of their loved ones. Scott needed further information, so Portia suggested that he speak with Anna Devane, Finola Hughes. Since Anna had called in a favor, Andrew Maddox, Anthony Montgomery, paid her a visit in her room. As a result, Ander offered up a dossier he had access to that had all the Cassadine information from back in 1981. Jordan joined Anna, Ander, and Holly Sutton, Emma Sounds, to interrogate them as she suspected a shoddy plan was in the works. Jordan was persuaded by Anna to understand why this situation needed to be handled by Valentin Cassadine, James Patrick Stewart, Laura, Curtis, and Drew. Holly discovered when researching the dossier that a disease that, if released, could kill 80% of the population had never been found. Andrew and Anna also understood that the WSB would probably demolish the island if they learned of this because they would view the few hostages as disposable. Jordan consented to act as a distraction for as long as she could, giving Laura and the others a chance to free the prisoners before the WSB was informed. Jordan discussed the significance of keeping this under wraps since people would freak out if they realized Victor had a biological weapon while Scott listened in on the news. Curtis had cautioned Valentin in Greenland that this wasn't the time for personal vendettas and that their job was to save the captives, not kill Victor. With the help of his satellite phone, Valentin was able to confirm that the haunted star was indeed nearby. When Laura and Curtis were alone, Laura mentioned Helena Cassadine's, Constance Towers, supposed curse on the ship, but Curtis insisted that if there was one, they would break it. Valentin hid with the others and unintentionally dropped the satellite phone when Victor's goons showed around. Laura, Drew, Valentin, and Curtis appeared to be able to sneak away undetected until Holly caused Valentin's dropped phone to start ringing. Stay in for updates on the impending danger as general hospital spoilers indicate that Valentin may find himself in a sticky situation soon.